All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in. This is Frank. I'm going to be going over our trip to Peru. It was absolutely incredible, guys. Uh, to start off, this was our Airbnb that we got in Punta Hermosa in Peru, just outside of Lima. It was a castle. Um, I believe it was six bedrooms, about five baths with the most incredible views with a surf break right out in front, as you can see here. Uh, it's my boy Ben dropping in, hitting the lip. Oh yeah, that's literally in our backyard with some amazing views. Um, had a incredible time down there. It's another shot of the Airbnb infinity pool with the walkway all the way down to the beach. There is a break right there, wasn't the best. We had to go uh, probably about four miles down uh, north to uh, one of the local breaks that was amazing. This is also my boy Ben skating through the house, gangster style, into the pool. Pretty, pretty sick. Again, another look at the crib. I can't get over how sick that place was. I'm gonna be dreaming about it for months to come. Super stoked on that. My boy Charlie <laughs> dropping down into some sand, some skating shots. Man, we had a great time down there. Some Salt Bay. Somebody make sure Salt Bay sees this video. <laughs> Another look at the crib with the hammock set up. The boys overlooking the surf breaks, man. We are stoked. Another shot of all the boys. There's Mark's little dungeon down there. So this I'm not too proud of, flying the drone straight into the wall. It goes crazy. Luckily, drone was okay. We're still able to film throughout the entire trip, which I was stoked about. This, we were flying really close to these birds, man. These birds were checking out this drone. I don't think they've ever seen one, uh, but they were definitely checking us out. So I decided to check them out, maybe stalk them a little bit, follow them around. Got a pretty cool shot. Not sure what type of bird this is, but I've never seen him before. This is a town a little bit south of where we were staying. I call it the slums. I'm not really sure what city it was, but man, they have never seen a white person in their life, I don't think, because they were giving me three or four looks every time I drove by somebody. Super undeveloped. Pretty crazy driving through there. Really, really cool though. Probably the first person to ever fly a drone in this city, to be honest with you. Really, really cool shots of this city, man. It was, it was crazy. Not really sure what this is, man, but enjoy. Scenery. This is again in Punta Hermosa. Cool shot of all the boys skating down the boardwalk. Absolutely gorgeous waters. Incredible surf. Breathtaking views. Little local local shredder here. Incredible fucking dirt bike track out here in the middle of Peru, man. These boys get down out there. Little local Florida bar down here in Peru, man. Got all the Florida towns. A little llama or a palca. Still can't tell the difference between the two. They are cute as fuck though. Little checkers tournament at the crib. 
another look at our Airbnb, overlooking the pool, the water, the local break, sunsets every night, and we can peek through. Now we're getting into my favorite part of the trip. We were in Inca, Peru, the sand dunes, when Mark shredding it up with a beer in his hand. Got the drone overlooking some riding down, going towards Ica. We did two uh, excursions. One was on the four wheelers, and then the next we were doing some sandboarding and buggying. Was absolutely incredible. This was definitely my favorite part of the trip. So sick. The four wheelers were a little slow, but we made it work. We had a lot of fun. Chevy. A little slow-mo Ripper McGee up the hill. This was us sandboarding over Inca. Absolutely incredible view. Of this, city, this little city was so sick, man. Just in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of these dunes with a little lake or pond. clip of the boys shredding down the fucking sand dune into this town look at this view how sick is this Another shot of this sick town, Inca, Peru. Had some really good food down there. Got some kits. You know the deal. All the boys posted up, just taking it all in, man. This is us on our dune buggies. The dune buggy driver was absolutely loco. Did not give a shit about anything or anyone. We actually ran out of gas up here, but we were not complaining. Super chill up here. A lot of great people. Met a lot of good, good friends from all over. A lot of England people, New Zealand. I think we met some Australian people. Absolutely sick shot right here with the dunes and the sun in the background, man. I felt like I was on another planet. That's our New Zealand friend right there next to me and Ben. Sweet shot coming away from us with the buggies in the back. Man, it was a party up there too. Everybody was having a great time. My boy Lee and Mark, fully stoked up. Ow. Little sandboard wreck. Uh. Wouldn't let us stand on it. It's probably a good oh, idea. Dude. Some more shots of the buggy. The boys standing on there, shotgun and beers. saying our driver was absolutely nuts pedal to the floor just ripping it needed some dirt bikes out here man
some more shots of the four wheelers. Little 200 cc's, man. They didn't have much power, but we still had a blast. Shredding in the town of Inca, where that little pond is. Some more views of the town. About a three and a half hour drive from Punta Hermosa where we were staying, that's the boys. Sunsets were insane out there, man. Every single night, the sun would just pop out for about 20 minutes as you can see there and just set slowly and every single day without failure would come out and set. Insane. All right, guys, this, we took a, uh, a quick little flight over to Cusco, which was very high altitude. Immediately got on some horsebacks. You know the deal. Haven't gotten on one in a long time, but did not have any issues. Me and Chevy. Going through some terrain. Was so sick. Cusco is like 12,000 feet altitude. As soon as I got there, I started feeling a little altitude sickness. The locals told me to chew on some cocoa leaves, which definitely helped. Highly recommend that if you ever go to Cusco. Make some tea out of the, the cocoa leaves or, or just chew them and, and suck on them. A little Pablo running the streets. We took a train up to Machu Picchu from Cusco. Was absolutely insane. The train was gorgeous, all glass surrounding us. This is the base camp right below Machu Picchu. Got some food, waited for our trip to go up to Machu Picchu. Got to take a bus up there. This is Machu Picchu, absolutely stunning. You must do it in your lifetime. Highly recommend it. You have to get a tour guide, which will help explain everything to you. Our boy Carlos definitely hooked it up. Really, really incredible up there. One of the seven wonders of the world. We had an amazing time. Just trying to take it all in and really appreciate Everything, my boy Charlie, just taking it all in, man. I got a little video of our boy Carlos. Listen to what he has to say. Because the Nai Inca representation Pachacuteki. Pachacute was construction about a hundred years. What is the reason for construction this place? Here in this place, around Sangue, there was found a spring water a spring water the first reason the other reasons inside Machu Picchu uh, there are uh, was found at quarries you know quarries yeah. like the quarries yeah. mm -hmm. they boulder the stones and then break to the rock and then construction Machu Picchu mm -hmm. the reason the other reason probably this is very high part and then very good looking for safe for security and the other reason the river the river this is Machu Picchu and the river, this is the protection to Machu Picchu for say Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu now is an original place, about 70% original place and 30% is restored of restoration. Machu Picchu has all right guys, that pretty much concludes our trip to Machu Picchu and the rest of our trip we headed out the next day. Um, highly, highly recommend visiting Peru. Absolutely incredible. Thanks for watching guys.